over. Here yeah. I have 140 axes, and then I take this one. Here I have only 120. So if I want to attach this one here, I need to lower the bow 20 millimeters. So this is the 20 millimeter part we cut. So this is finished and this is finished. Then I have to take the distance from the tail until the flange. So this is the 140 we have. The new valve we checked is um, 50 millimeters longer. It's differently. Um, it's 50 millimeters longer. So this is not 140 anymore. The new valve goes here. So we have this 90 mm -hmm. with the new valve. From this metal to here, the end of the flange is 90. So now we go there to the rest of our flange. Uh, we need we need the distance of our flange and this part. So. This is my axle. From here until here was the 140 before. Yeah. Now with our new valve, it's 50 millimeters longer, mm -hmm. so this goes to 90 millimeter. So from here, the flange until this axle, we have 90 millimeter. So and now I can take the 90 millimeter. I add the 97. This is just the size of the bow. 90 millimeter, 97, and half of the tail. I just measured the tail and took the half of it. This is 76. So this 90, 97 and 76. All of this together. I can lift it everywhere.